Hello and welcome to a new video about applied control engineering. This is our system we always used in this applied series yeah, and we, well, we, I'm not sure what videos you have already seen. There are different videos where we try to adjust this with a PI controller, where we do an optimal mount controller, where we do a tuning according Keynes, Reswick and Horn and where we do a, a tuning according Ziegler and Nichols. And in this video we want to compare those things with the help of an integral quality criteria to see which one gave the best result. Okay. So the system we are heating, we are heating up this, this uh, metal part, this aluminium part, bring it to a certain temperature, the set point can be adjusted with this turning knob and triggered with the touch of a button. Here I will use always the same PID controller as a PI, the D part will be turned off. Yeah? So we had different PI uh, adjustment for the different for the different variants yeah? and we see which one is, is working best. So uh, here we see these are the four things we are going to compare and we are going to compare the integral of absolute error and the integral of squared error. Yeah? These are the parameters we found out in the coding video uh, for Ziegler Nichols. Uh, tuning. These are the parameters we found out for Keynes, Horns and Reswick tuning. These are the parameters we found out in the optimal amount tuning. And these are the parameters I found out during PI tuning by experience. Okay. You see there are quite different parameters. Yeah. We will see which one brings the best results. Yeah. By the way, in, in um, the video about the PI controller, this was set to, to uh, 4, yeah, actually, and this was set to 0 0.5. Okay. Why I'm claiming now, claiming now 2 and 10? Because in the video about the PI controller, we worked with the temperatures, and this PI controller here works with, with percent. And one degree Celsius is two percent. Yeah, or fifty degree is one hundred percent. So here, I the, the the gain factor must be at the half of the gain factor, of course. Clear? Yeah. And the Tn usually must be doubled. Okay. So double this would be one. However, I also realized in my in my coding of the PI controller of my original PI video, yeah, I accidentally used the factor 100. Yeah? So it's not one, it's 100. Actually, they are the same, the same parameters. Okay? They are the same parameters. Good. Yeah? The first one, we're going to start with Ziegler Nichols. Ziegler Nichols, uh, here is the system ready to go i will set i will bring the set point now to 45 we will always do a jump from 30 to 45 to make this also comparable of course set point in i hope i reach i can bring it to pretty much the same set point jumps always i think I think we can distinguish anyway which ones is better. Uh, I think it will not be that that close. Oh, let's see, 44.94 oh, should be sufficient. So everything is set up. We are running at 30 degree. Ah, uh, no oh, trigger. Here we have this absolute error as well. Yeah. So if we're just looking here, currently absolute error is 12 degree. The deviation is squared. Yeah, is 100. So this is simply this squared. Yeah. 
and we also draw this. Oh, this looks already a little bit funny. I'm not sure how long this will take. If the Y bar is dropping that fast, there is usually something wrong. And you see, this is this, this is the error. It jumped to a certain value, yeah? and now it stays constant again. So the iPad is already starting to grow. <laughs> it's far from beautiful, but we will see what the integral of squared errors and the integral of absolute errors bring. Huh? Already you get a note. By the way, we will always stop if we are reaching, uh, if we are below 0 to 3 degree, because this is plus minus 2%, uh, percent, uh, 15 degree, 1% would be 0 to 15 degree, 2% or 0 to 3 degree. So if the absolute error is dropping below 0 to 3, this would mark the end. It's not over. Still takes a while. I have the feeling I need to switch to 45 minutes. Let's see. Okay, for me this is over now. Okay, I will now measure. Now measure. Stop it here. Here is some measurement. Yeah. So this one I put to the start, at least somewhere close to. This I put to the end, and where we have here we see 2.26, two dot yeah. two six, two three two. This is the point where we have finally reached below 0 0.3. So we have a setting time of 2367 seconds. 2367. I will also note the, the setting time. Okay. Setting time. It was 2367 seconds. And now to the quality quality measures. Yeah. This tool here gives me also the integral between the two things. And since we have recorded this, the integral of the absolute error is, and take a note, 5572.2. Yeah. I'm not sure if this dot two is <laughs> really mattering, but We'll use this. And here, and now the square error, 27908.4. 20908.4. Okay. Now we have the first, now we have the first uh, thing. Huh? Uh, 
Good. Yeah. So let's see what is happening if we are using the Keynes Horns and Restwick. Make it beautiful again. Auto format. Setting. I will hurt. Setting. Time. Yeah. Looks good. And make it fit. Good. Yeah. So these are our first findings. How good they are? Well, I guess not that good if I look into this. Yeah. But we will see. First method. Ziegler Nichols. Next method, Keynes, Holland and Restwick. there 0 to 3 degree Celsius is our deviation we we want to take into account okay 0 to 3 percent is 2 percent of the jump uh, and this is then the settle time and here we want to measure then the, the error integrals uh, it took quite a long time for this Hins horns and Reswick. Alright, so it seems now 0 to 25 degrees Celsius seems to be stable. Now we can measure. Yeah? So we'll turn on the absolute error and the, and the squared error. Yeah? I will pause this here now and then I will use my two cursors. One I will put to the beginning yeah? and one to the end where we reached this temperature somewhere here uh, 44.68 yeah absolute deviation look at it 0 0.25 okay so after 1865 seconds so over half an hour uh, we reached, this is the setting time, with this adjustment. Uh, here we have the integral, this is now the absolute integral, 2457, I will note this, Keynes, Horn and Reswick, 2457.3, okay, and the squared error, book, just have to put here, uh, this is 10,000, 846.7, okay? The absolute error is in degree Celsius, of course, and the squared error is in degree Celsius squared. Yeah? So we're using, we're not using percent, we're using, we're using, um, we're using degree Celsius as error. Yeah? doesn't really matter because we want, just want to compare the different different adjustments okay Keynes, Horn and Reswick this was this huh? okay good this time uh, with the parameters of the optimal amount controller yeah? design and border plot yeah? design and border plot We'll see. I'm already eager to know how it is. This is the first really analytic method we have used. Yeah? Uh, the other ones are just rule of thumbs. Yeah? So everything is set up. Uh, trigger. I would expect here a far better results, but we will see. We'll see. Yeah? Simply because this is a method which is exactly fitting to this system and not just to a compromise between different systems. Eh?
Okay, so we are already below 0 0.3. Let's see if we make or produce some sort of overswing again, because this was actually pretty fast, I would say. Yeah? Not even 5 minutes compared to, I don't know, 40 minutes or what, were, what was the value? Ah, I've written it down. But. Okay, let's measure. Let's measure. Stop this. Cursors. How long did it take until we reached here? Zero dot. Here. This was the position. This was the position. Everything else is below zero dot three or almost. Uh, I will say it's okay. Yeah? It looks okay. It next time we will try. It would maybe look a little bit different, a little bit higher. We we'll make this shot now. Okay. So, what do we have? Setting time: two hundred twenty-eight seconds. Ooh, this is much better, right? Put it here. Two hundred twenty-eight, and now it even. Dot six or notice. Uh, ooh, this is much you see, this is much better significantly. So also I think the integral values, yes, 1189.6 and the other one eleven thousand no eleven thousand six hundred eighteen dot six. Ah this is interesting. This is interesting, right? Look at this. The squared error is almost, almost is, is bigger than in Keynes, Horns and Reswick, but the integral of absolute error is much smaller. Yeah? So this means Keynes, Horns and Reswick has a longer period of, of deviation, yeah? but not that, not that uh, severe deviations. Yeah? Remember the squared error, the severe deviations, the big deviation, are weighted more, and we clearly see a difference there. Okay, so if it comes to the point where the severe errors are the real, the real stupid ones, yeah, the win, the, the real ones who are bothering you, then the Keynes, Horn, and Reswick method was better than the optimal amount method, yeah? and. Well, however, if it comes to the error, if every error is bad, then optimal amount is much better. Okay. I'm already eager to know what my... These are all methods which are accepted. Yeah? And the last method I've used, I've just written here heights, is based on experience. Yeah? I, I simply tried to adjust it how, mm, how I think it would be good. Yeah? No, no, no rule besides, just by trying, just by well, really eager to know how this turns out in comparison to the other methods. Yeah? So here we are significantly small, here we are higher. We'll see. Next method. Tuning on experience. Okay, next try. Tuning according experience. In the Excel sheet I called it Heinz. I even extended the Excel sheet a little bit. You see, I've put in how many percents are there. The better, the better one, the better value is 100% always. So now we are here. Yeah? Last try, Heinz parameters. Tuning according experience. Well, it's the least analytic method, yeah? It's just by feeling. Depends strongly on the individual. Yeah? So I will press now the button and trigger it. Book. Yeah? Again, try to go up to, to 45 degree. And I am already eager to know how good or bad is what I've produced here. 
Hein? Oui, si. Oui, si. thrilled now huh? see it looks significantly different because we have produced a little bit of overshoot and unfortunately a little bit too much so we overshoot it more than, than zero to three degrees Celsius so the setting time will probably be less a more of course more huh? because of this always always thing let's see if we are producing here also some some swing now or if this is looking nice looking nice afterwards so i think we could measure the values okay let's see stop this here here are my cursors beginning and let's see where we are dropping below 0 0.3 here here setting time 204.8 what was the other one 204.8 good uh, good so setting time was the fastest what are the integrals 942 942.8 okay and the squared integral was 10,456 10, 10,456.3 Alrighty! Yeah. Let's see if nothing happens that I do not claim something I did not do No, looking good Here's our final table now, all right? So, Ziegler Nikos is by far the worst thing at this system. Always at this system, yeah? This is, you have to take this into account. Into account. The first two methods yeah, are, well, they are rule of thumbs. They are just, yeah, basically they're giving a starting point. The main thing is they are accepted and you can say, okay, I've adjusted it according to this and that rule and this turns out. If we do really analysis of the, of the system and make an optimal amount controller, you see the result is already much better. Yeah? Interesting here is that this integral of squared error is a little bit higher than this integral of squared error of Keynes on the week. I already explained this is simply because we have more a longer period of time we have a little bit more disturbance however the total disturbance here is half huh? so yeah and here this one based on experience this turned out to be really the, the best one even if even we, we have it now with numbers yeah? I also like the form better. Yeah, of course I liked it better because I adjusted it. And this is already the, the, the downside of this method. Yeah, Just because I think it's better, it does not mean it's fitting better to the application. Yeah? You always have to think about the application, if this is necessary, if for instance this overswing is permitted or not. Yeah? These are the things yeah, you have to take into account. Uh, and if something is happening and you can tell, okay, I've used this and that method, I've used optimal amount method and I've analyzed this and you can prove everything, well, you're probably fine. If you're telling, yeah, I've made this just because I thought it was right, yeah, then maybe you're, yeah, yeah you need to explain a little bit more why you thought you, it was right, yeah, not just felt it in the guts <laughs> anyway 
you should know now how this integral numbers are showing which method is measurable yeah, better than the other one okay which adjustment it's not a comparison of method because some methods fit better to systems than other uh, the adjustments let's call it adjustments yeah yeah there are for each of those of those methods except the Heinz method, but the Celia Nichols, King's Hans and Resume, the optimal amount. There are videos about it, how we can, how we have reached these values here. Yeah, you can watch them. It's, I think it's interesting, maybe. Yeah, so for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.